1996 is famously Major League Soccer's inaugural season. And believe it or not, at that time, there was only one team, one club representing the New York City metropolitan area. That club was the New York Metro Stars, and they were the Metro Stars until 2006, really until Red Bull came in and purchased the rights to the team. One of the first things that Red Bull decided when they came in was that the New York Red Bulls deserved their own home. And in 2010, they got just that. In comes Red Bull Arena, 25,000 capacity stadium, $200 million later, and since then, the New York Red Bulls have been playing here in Harrison, New Jersey. Well guys, on this episode of State of Soccer, today we are gonna to tour that stadium, Red Bull Arena, and all it has to offer here in Harris, New Jersey. All right, the awesome thing about today's stadium tour is that we have free, unparalleled access to Red Bull Arena. Right now, right now, I'm actually in the player's tunnel. In front of me, this has been here since 2010, is this bull. When the players walk out, they rub the bull as they make their way into this beautiful 25,000 capacity stadium here in Harrison, New Jersey. Let's take a walk out on the pitch, check out the surroundings, because this is one of the most beautiful stadiums in all of Major League Soccer and possibly North America. Pitch side here at Red Bull Arena, there is so much I want to talk about as we make our way around the stadium in a similar fashion to my QPR video at Loftus Road. If you haven't seen that one, you want to check it out. But behind me right here in the first row is actually where the family members of the New York Red Bulls sit. Right behind them is where the media members sit. And the reason they have this incredible view, which is the closest to the pitch of any other media section in Major League Soccer, is because the Red Bulls prioritized American soccer journalists because they're going to spread the word of the beautiful game here in the United States. Unfortunately, the tarp is covering them right now, but this is where the Red Bulls sit, and over here is where the away team sits as we make our way around the stadium. Beautiful scoreboards on both sides of the stadium, and this was opened in 2010, a $200 million project that has won multiple, multiple awards over the years in the New York City area, in the United States, and globally, being recognized as one of the best football soccer venues in the world. Now, I mentioned some of the success that the Rebels have had since moving to the stadium in 2010. And in that time, they've racked up three supporter shields. Now, for many of my international viewers, you might be asking, what is a supporter shield? Well, for your domestic league, it most likely represents who is crowned the champion after a full duration of domestic play. So in 2013, 2015, and 2018, the Red Bulls had the most points in all of Major League Soccer over the course of a season. Now, globally, when people think of the New York Red Bulls, names like Thierry Henry probably instantly come to mind. However, at Red Bull Arena, there is only one number on display. That is number 99 for Bradley Wright Phillips 108 career goals here in league play for the New York Red Bulls. I believe 126 in all competitions, a club legend. And I gotta say guys, we've been to a lot of stadiums on State of Soccer. I've talked about some of the pitches that I have been to. Old Trafford, Celtic Park, Ibrox, Craven Cottage. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving out tons and tons of them, but this pitch is immaculate. This is one of the best pitches I've seen definitely in Major League Soccer, but potentially around the world. This is a thing of beauty. One thing in particular about Red Bull Arena, when we're talking about the atmosphere, and we're talking about the Viking Army and the Empire Supporters Club, all the noise that they make is trapped in this arena because it was designed particular to be that way. The whole entire Section 100, all the way around, 
is a concrete base, while on top of it is actually steel. So all the noise comes out, reverberates, and then gets stuck under this canopy style of roof that wraps around the stadium. Now, when you're at Red Bull Arena, you might notice, if you get here a little early, there's one seat in the house, one seat at Red Bull Arena that is red. There's a story about that seat. And we're gonna to get to that story. So stick with us here on State of Soccer. Keep following along because we have a lot more left in the stadium tour. And if you have any interest in that, you might wanna stick around. All right, so we're about to walk into the Red Bull locker room, dressing room, but here, this is where the players hang out before the match, after the match, get some food. And of course, over here, we have the branding consistent with Red Bull, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, nice little space for the players. All right, guys, now let's check out the Red Bull's home dressing room. Check out this space. Beautiful, just redone for the New York Red Bulls as we walk around this dresser, dressing room. Similar to some of the other locker rooms we saw in the UK. But I really like this one. The level of detail, the circular shape, so the coach can get right in the middle, give his address to the players. You have the red lighting up here, screens right in the middle, dropping down. And one thing of detail here with all of these lockers, we'll check out Lewis Morgan here, number 10, is that these actually open up. We saw a similar thing at Anfield, at Liverpool Stadium. Pretty cool that the Rebels incorporated that. And this is brand new for the 2023 season here at Red Bull Arena. And right outside the locker room here at Red Bull Arena, there's a little area for the players to warm up, to get some cardio in. There's weights over here. And uh, obviously the training ground is about a half an hour away, but after the match, post-match, the players will come through this room. This area is also utilized for the media and the players will come in, do their interviews with the media and then make their way out there and exit Red Bull Arena. All right guys, this is obviously the press room here at Red Bull Arena. Uh, one thing I wanna point out that is really cool is they have a screen over here. So when the coach or whoever it is is being asked some questions, um, you know, someone can conference in over Zoom if they can't make it, or if it's an away team, someone representing that team in media can ask a question on the screen way back there. If you're enjoying this episode of State of Soccer, then make sure to hit like, subscribe, Follow us for more stadium tours just like this one at Red Bull Arena. Let's continue our tour by making our way down press row. This is where the press come to gather their game notes, create graphics, write their columns, and just generally get any of their work done. There are plenty of tables and chairs and power outlets where they can plug in and get to work. And let's not forget about the complimentary food that the media gets. Not a bad life if you're a member of the media at Red Bull Arena. As we head down the hall from the media room, you'll find the corporate offices. To the right is a ticket sales department, group sales, premium hospitality, and other members of the Red Bull front office. And to the left is the marketing department, where the team comes up with all the creative ideas that keep the fans engaged throughout the season. On this third floor of Red Bull Arena, and here is Bull's Corner, which is kind of utilized as an area for families, for friends, to get some food. Bar back there, beautiful space that leads out overlooking the field here at Red Bull Arena. Doesn't really get much better than this. All right, right across from Red Bull Corner is the Audi Club, which is utilized as a space for premium hospitality. Sometimes they have special events in here. Really impressive space. If you watch State of Soccer, you know on the channel, we've done kit rankings of all the kits in Major League Soccer. Well, this is the Red Bull's secondary kit. You gotta love the colors. You have to love the Red Bull branding, the Adidas logo up here, and it's a Daniel Patrick collab, a Daniel Patrick design, a well-known designer who's done work with guys like James Harden in the NBA, but the detail of this jersey is just phenomenal. You can see New York, you can see the badge here for New York. Um, really, really cool. All right, so we just checked out the bull shop, and this is the general concourse area here at Red Bull Arena. All right, so we've got a bird's eye view here at Red Bull Arena. We talked about it on the pitch, but this is once again the South Ward. There's the logo up there for the Vikings Army. We cheer for the boys in white. And then as we walk around this beer stand, 
which is optimally placed right on the outside of the supporters group. We have the Empire Supporters Club badge up here in the South Ward. I mean, this is a pretty cool spot, if you ask me. Grab a beer, go down, support your club, great view here of Red Bull Arena. All right, public service announcements for any Red Bull supporters listening to this. I don't know if you're aware of this, but if you download this app, you can skip the line here in section 133, type in your information, order what you want, and then pick up the food over here. If you want chicken and fries, go right ahead. If you want Italian sausage, go right ahead over there at Premios, right here in section 133. All right, making our way up in the stadium, section 232 here, right above 133, 132 where all the food is. This is a bird's eye view of Red Bull Arena. I promise you a bird's eye view and here it is. As we make our way down the stands, right under us, you might recognize this area. This is the South Ward right down there as the red seats kind of start emerging. But there isn't a bad seat in the house here at Rebel Arena. Just due to just how open the stadium is, we touched upon the canopy roof style. And up here, we talked a little bit about the steel to make some noise here for the supporters. Awesome view, sun beaming down here on the pitch. This is Major League Soccer, guys. You know, this is this is the type of stadiums that MLS is building, and this is one of the first. This is the cathedral, they call it the Cathedral of American Soccer. And since then, we've seen a lot of stadiums kind of try to mimic what Red Bull Arena has done here. Um, some have done a good job, some maybe not, but overall, the stadiums, the soccer-specific stadiums are getting really, really incredible. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorites. All right, so this is really cool, guys. So this is Day Chaser. They have a partnership here with the Red Bulls. And I mean, this is awesome. It's a little deck, almost kind of like an outdoor deck patio area that you can grab yourself a beer. And we walk over here. The Red Bulls have a partnership with Magners, an Irish cider. That's pretty interesting. Kind of unique. You don't see that at Subaru Park or different places. Um, but this view is awesome. Grab yourself a beer in the summertime watch the Red Bulls take on whoever at home, whoever it may be. Doesn't get much better than this. As we make our way down the concourse just outside of section 120, we'll begin a walk that showcases some of the biggest moments in New York Red Bull history. From playing tribute to their three supporter shield titles, to the establishment of Red Bull 2 in 2015, the opening of the team's first training facility, and even the first ever match at Red Bull Arena back on March 20th, 2010, this walk doesn't let you forget their past. And over here we have Joel Lynn Peel, who as you know scored that first goal in that preseason friendly against Santos, but he also scored in that MLS opener here at Red Bull Arena. And we'll make our way down here to the red seat, the coveted red seat here, commemorating Joel Lynn Peel's goal. Seat number 20, right here, here at Red Bull Arena. I mean, supposedly that night was incredible. Santos came here to play, to open up this stadium. Very young Neymar, making his American debut, playing the Red Bulls, in front of 25,000 fans, sold out crowd. In 2015, the New York Red Bulls fans voted their top 20 players in 20 years of the Red Bull franchise. And there's some big names here in these 20 players. Some that you might recognize. Thierry Henry being the most globally renowned, but up here, American legend, Tony Miola. We have Giovanni Savarese. We have Red Bulls legend and former coach, Mike Pecky. Um, here we have Tab Ramos. I mean, these are just to name a few. Tons and tons. Juan Pablo Angel, who I believe was the all-time leading Red Bulls scorer before Bradley Wright Phillips broke his record. As we make our way around here, some other names. Yuri Zhirkov, you might recognize. Tons of great legends of the game here at Rebel Arena. Now, if you're from the New York metropolitan area or you've traveled in New York City as a tourist, then you probably know about bodegas, little corner shops that exist all around here in the New York City area. Well, of course, because Rebel Arena has everything, they have their own bodega. Let's take a walk inside and check it out. Exactly what you'd expect. A little corner store you can touch here to order. And then up here, just tons of different things. Some of the options, fried chicken, popcorn, whatever it may be grab your concession, and then walk back outside for the rest of the match. All right, now we find ourselves in the Provident Bank Suite Lounge here at Red Bull Arena. 
and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a really nice lounge. You can sit down here on a couch. You can go over there and watch a match. They have these beautiful murals here on the wall. Pretty cool spot as you walk here. This is the Suite 410 411 area of Red Bull Arena, and it comes with an awesome view. And this lounge is massive. It goes all the way down here. Obviously, this is where they serve some food here in the Provident Bank Suite Lounge. Yeah. Um, but really cool. Two floors of the suite, too. Go upstairs in just a second. All right, so still on the second floor of the Provident Bank Suite is this own little individual suite that you can rent out here at Rebel Arena. So if you grab some food downstairs or you grab a drink right outside, it comes with an awesome view. Padded seats, of course, only the best. Right here in the center of the midfield here at Red Bull Arena. Up here on the top floor with some of the best views here, you have the New York Red Bulls English radio. We make our way down here, and this is where Apple TV, you know Apple TV's new contract with MLS, Apple TV Spanish, and then over here, we have Apple TV English at Red Bull Arena. Kind of like the crow's nest of RBA up here. All right, inside one of these little radio rooms up here, kind of like in a crow's nest area at the top of Red Bull Arena, you can actually open up these windows here. They slide and then, you know, pull up a table with this optimal view here and broadcast the match here. Well, that concludes our tour of Red Bull Arena. We want to extend a big thank you to the New York Red Bulls for allowing State of Soccer access to their stadium. It was a great pleasure exploring the facility and we strongly believe it is one of the best stadiums in all of Major League Soccer. We hope you enjoyed this tour and learned something new about the New York Red Bulls. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe, and check out some of our other stadium tours on State of Soccer in the playlist on the screen. Our playlist includes several awesome tours of iconic stadiums like Old Trafford, Anfield, Celtic Park, and many other legendary venues. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.